Thanks for joining our series on Read and Write for Google Chrome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the highlighting tool and how you can collect your highlights using Read and Write. Now, why would you want to use the highlighting tool? You might be writing a research paper or putting together a project where you need to collect some information and facts from a website, a Google Doc, or a PDF. And Read and Write can really help out with that. Now, before we begin, let's always make sure that we are logged in to our TCDSB Google Chrome account. I know I'm logged in because when I click on my profile icon at the top, I can see my email address. I'm also going to look out for those extensions that are available to all students when they're logged into their accounts. So I have my purple puzzle piece for read and write, I have my blue diamond for equatio, and I have my PDF reader. So I'm all set up on Google Chrome. Let's go over to a website where I can show you this feature. So again, read and write is available to all students at TCDSB. So that means you can use its tools no matter if you're on D2L or Google Classroom. So let's go ahead and pull up the toolbar by clicking on the purple puzzle piece. Today we're going to use these highlighters. We're also going to use this colorful arrow icon to collect our highlights. So I'm going to scroll down this web page and I'm going to select some words and sentences to show you an example of how I can highlight. So you're going to take your cursor and just select the text that you like. And then you're going to select the color of highlighter you want to use. Now you can choose the color based on what you need. So for example, you might want to use yellow for names and blue for dates, maybe purple for facts. It's up to you. And you can choose as much or as little text as you like. So I'll just pick one more thing here to show you an example. All right, so I'm ready to go. I want to have all my highlights collected into one document. And I can easily do this by clicking on this arrow icon that says Collect Highlights. So Read and Write is going to give me some options. It's going to sort my highlights either by color or by position. So Read and Write will sort my highlights by color and by putting all the yellows together and all the greens, et cetera, et cetera. Or I can choose to put the highlights by position. So it'll group all my highlights based on the way it shows up on the web page. This is up to you, you choose what works for you. So when I click OK, it's now putting it into a Google Doc and it's going to save it in my Google Drive, which is awesome. The only thing is it will save it as an untitled document. So let's always get in the habit of changing the title of our document so that we don't have a bunch of untitled documents in our Google Drive. All right, so I'm gonna just go up here and I can change my title. And let's take a look at this document. So these are all the highlights that I have selected from that website, all put into one place for me. I also have the source of where I got it from. So that's automatic too, and my email address. So Read and Write will tell you who collected these highlights. Now this is a working doc. I can go ahead and make changes to it. I can type, for example, um, I can take the highlights away. So what I can do is select my text and actually use this little broom icon and clear all my highlights. I can delete information, um, add it, and this is your document to work with. Now you can do the exact same thing in a Google document. So I have something here where I have my read and write toolbar and I can use the highlighters in the exact same way. So I can pick some words or sentences, highlight them, and collect them. Now lastly, I want to show you that you can also do this in a PDF. So for a PDF, you will have to engage in your PDF reader. And this toolbar looks very similar to the Read and Write toolbar. And I have all my highlighters and my Collect Highlights icon just the same. So let's pick some text on this PDF and go ahead and highlight it. And I can collect these highlights in the exact same way. So that's your highlighting tool. That's how you can collect your highlights. So give that a try and see how Read and Write can really help you. Thanks for watching.